Hey, this is pharmacist Curtis Alexander. If you have multiple sclerosis or you know somebody who has MS, chances are you've heard of the medication Tecfidera. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering the side effects that can be seen with Tecfidera, which can be problematic. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some steps that you can take to help minimize those side effects. Also, real quick, make sure to check the link in the description. I have a free report about natural options to get away from drugs and surgery that I use myself. So it's uh, free, just drop your name and I'll send that to you. So first and foremost with Tecfidera, we worry about infection. I'm not saying it's the most common thing, but it's the thing we worry about the most. Now in a bit here, I'm gonna explain what your doctor will do while you're on Tecfidera to hopefully prevent that from happening, but if it happens, it can be serious. So we do worry about you getting infections. Now, as far as commonality, what's the most common? In my experience, flushing is. So flushing is the redness that people can get. It can be in a single area of their body. Some people will complain, you know, it's upper extremity flushing in my head and arms. Other people, it's whole body. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but it is very common at 40 percent i'll talk about some things that you can do in a little bit to hopefully minimize that uh, next we're looking at things like abdominal pain at 18 percent nausea at 12 percent these are kind of you know pretty similar and then kind of jumping back to that infection thing before you start tecfidera your doctor should uh, draw your lymphocyte counts and make sure that those numbers are stable and as you do the therapy They're going to want to continue to monitor those if they drop which can happen with Tecfidera Then you run an increased risk of infection So that's kind of where that ties in and why we want to monitor that So these are the big side effects that we're concerned about now. How can you minimize them? Okay, now obviously the big one that I mentioned is the flushing Something that can help is to eat a high fat and a high protein diet, which some people, it helps minimize that. So a good example would be maybe some yogurt or even peanut butter. Uh, some people can have good results taking aspirin. What you want to avoid is taking enteric coated aspirin, the kind of aspirin that has the coating on it so it's not broken down into your stomach. We want you taking just the plain aspirin that's broken down right away. Normally, I tell people take a baby aspirin, which is 81 milligrams, but you can take a regular aspirin up to 325 milligrams. I don't think that's necessary. So maybe take a regular aspirin, break it in half or quarter. Okay. Uh, another thing some people said is Benadryl. The problem with that is it makes people drowsy. So sometimes people, if they get the flushing, they'll take the Benadryl to knock it down and then use some of these other things. Uh, beforehand but Benadryl is tough just because of the drowsiness component um, of course when you start Tecfidera this is one of the reasons they're going to start you on that first week taper where you're doing one a day for seven days then they're going to bump you up after that so that's another option that we have and then the other thing that we see it's not something you can necessarily do but after a couple of weeks we can see this flushing in these GI side effects go away in some people. That's not always the case. So keep that in mind. It is something that can happen and can go away. So let me know in the comments. Have you tried Tecfidera? How did you do with it? Did you experience these side effects? Let me know. It's helpful for other viewers and it's helpful for me to get your feedback. So speaking of helpful, I hope this video was and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.